It has been many years since the war between humanity and Yurgoth occurred. A bloody war, all for the sake of freedom, were waged against the brutes to put an end to all of this madness. Thanks to Ardenvasa innovation, the Javelins aided in ending the war and bringing freedom to all of humanity once and for all. In today's climate, the Javelins we possess aren't as powerful and unique as the Javelins of Dawns from many years ago, but they do still hold up and aid as well against everyday struggles and monstrosities, while also providing the ability to fly on the whim, swim on the water for long periods, take a number of beatings or deathly hits, and produce deadly elements from your built-in gear. So they're still powerful nonetheless. As of now, we have four Javelins at our disposal, the Ranger, the Colossus, the Interceptor and the Storm. Out of the four, two of them are newly designed javelins created in our eras and have been finely tuned for peak performance, with even more advanced technology from before, such as the Storm Javelin from the Dominion faction that incorporates multiple seals into the javelin's right arm that increases its potent damage, as well as allows the user to harness a bit of the amplitude creation. We also have the Interceptor created by the Corvus faction, designed for stealth and agile movement, with Millie being his main willing point. Perfect for spy agency who want to be in and out of danger. These are just two examples of how technology is slowly advancing for everyone, and how certain factions are using current and old knowledge to innovate new ideas. But what about more? Will we see more new javelins in the future with even more raised abilities, etc? The answer is yes, probably, and it's tied into the lore quite well through two examples. The first being the Dominion. The Dominion as we know it first came about after the separation of the Legion of Dawn, after the Great War, and from there decided to forge their own path of new ideas and belief. Although their views are controversial to many, they seem to focus all their research on technology and shape of relics, as they believe more power will allow them to control their own fates. Funnily enough, they are the only faction in game that are actually using the info creation into their own technology and try to weaponize it for their own, which they have successfully achieved via the Storm Javelin which is one of a kind special javelin created in today's climate, and with something like this being a success on their end, they're definitely going to take what they know and improve on it further, or better off, make their own variations. The second now being the Arcanists, and the Arcanists are always studying the Amphro creation to see what else it holds, with new discoveries occurring on a regular basis. Matthew Summer, a well-known Arcanist, managed to find a relic that accidentally split him into multiple versions of himself, all with negative side effects. At the same time, we also did find the all-spec shape of relic that Robert Mao was trying to hide before his death, that had the ability to predict the future, but only for a few minutes, depending on the parameters of the relic. All of this is valuable knowledge for the Arcanist, as not only does it give him a deeper understanding of how some of the ancient shape of relics and anthem creation work between each other, but it also opens up the possibility of future javelins incorporating these abilities into the frame. So, if we take Matthew's knowledge from his past discovery, we could potentially create a javelin that can split itself into three or multiple copies of itself, where one variation of its ability could act as a decoy for us, or another could be they can create a decoy that can actually fire back at a target, but only for a short duration. We do also have Antium, which is a major fort of both power and technology being the most well up to date fort within the world of Anthem. The royal family there have ties to Arn and Vassa through ancestry, so it wouldn't surprise me if Vassa himself, before his death, passed on his knowledge to his children, and others to carry on his legacy of building things, and the very people with the knowledge now are using it to develop new gear and tech for themselves. From the looks of things that are spanning in the world, the next jam to be created will probably be closer to the Anthem creation or be a different take that focuses more on the survivability of the locals in the world like a javelin created by the outlaws or Corvus, with the ability for it to go invisible or to make a decoy version of itself like you would see in Type 2 with the Hollow Pilot, or a javelin created by the Sentinel faction which has the ability to create shielding for other players and missions, while also capable of absorbing and shooting back out damage they've taken, etc. The possibility of creating a javelin for any scenario is endless, and the devs have enough information to give reason as to why a javelin would be able to pull off such ability as long as it doesn't sound too crazy or game breaking. But these are my general thoughts on the potential future of new javelins that could come, and how they could be potentially implemented, lore wise. Let me hear your thoughts on what type of javelin you would love to see in game. Now if you enjoyed the video please leave a like, a sub, comment or share, any of these are fine to be honest. Once again thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.